Last time out, we got our best result of the season thus far. A 2-2 draw versus Liverpool. Now can we push on and get our first win of the season at the 14th attempt in our game today versus Leicester City. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 5 of the Watford FC No Attribute Challenge Save. And we're scheduled to be going up against Leicester City in the game today. But as you can see, it's 3 o'clock on the Saturday, so it's game day. But now, right now, minutes before the game, the board have decided that they want a meeting. They want to talk about what is going on in the season thus far. Because like I said in the intro, we've played 13 games, we're yet to win. So the board are not happy, but this is not the ideal time to be doing a meeting, surely. So let's go and crack on with that. And if we do manage to survive, then I will bring you what happened in the last game. And I'll bring you up to date with a little other things that have been going on. So let's go attend the meeting. We are deeply concerned at the team's league performance and are keen for things to be improved as soon as possible. So what do I say? Tough on the fixtures? Or we've suffered with injuries? Can't really say it's my first job. They're not going to like that as an excuse. So I'm thinking we're going to go with... We've suffered with a number of injuries. Rolos. They're not liking that. This could be a very, very short episode. That's not an excuse for playing poorly. Every single team in the league has injury concerns. Uh... I would have expected a stronger show of faith. Oh, in fairness, we expected to, we expected a much better showing in the league. Uh, it's a long season. Let's judge it at the end. <sighs> oh, I'm sweating. Not just because of the weather. Because it's bloody hot outside. But also, that... But thankfully, we've survived the meeting and we should be able to keep going till the end of the year, which is fairly decent news. And so, with that nonsense out of the way, let me just catch you up on the last game. I know it's been a while since the last video, just kind of fell out a love a bit with FM, but I'm slowly getting back there. So, the last game, which you did see on the last video, 2-2 draw versus Liverpool. They took the lead in the 17th minute. We then equalised in the 20th. Shaqiri gave them the lead again in the 64th minute. And then just a minute later, Chalaba got the equaliser for us. And we could have pushed on for the win, but Barrett got himself sent off, our new central midfielder. So that was rather splendid. That was rather awesome. But 2-2 two -two draw against Liverpool, easily our best result of the season thus far. Especially considering our only two other points have come in a draw against Fulham, ironically also a 2-2 two -two game, and a draw against Burnley. So to get a decent result against Liverpool is nice. And we have got a little bit of transfer news. Uh, we have got a man who is leaving the club in January, and that is Etienne Capoue. He's been moaning about not getting game time, about not playing that much. And in the games he has played, he's only got a 6.7 rating. So I thought, move him on. We are getting just over 11 million, I believe. Yeah, 11.75 million we're getting for him. And so he's going to be leaving us on the 3rd of January. And so he's still in the team. He's still on the bench. Just because we haven't really got anybody else who can do too much in a central midfield role. I am going to put Chalaba on the bench though as a, as a central defender. Let's get him on in place of Messina. And change that about. 
And so, yeah, this is going to be the team for today's game. Little bit of a slight change. We're not going with a three in midfield. We're going with a 4-2-3-1. Just to try and be a little bit more expressive. A little bit more attacking. And so, we've got Foster in goal. Sakai and Yanma as the fullbacks. Kafkar and Kabaseli as the central defensive pairing. And quite nice, we've actually got two players who are fully trained in central defence playing together, which we've not always had this season. And then in the midfield, we've got Decore and we've got Alneni replacing the suspended Barak following his red card against Liverpool. And then we've got Delefeu on the left-hand side, Kiko on the right, and Will Hughes moving up into the advanced playmaker role I'm going to give him. And they are all just behind our main striker today, our top scorer for the season thus far, Alberto Penaranda. Is it Alberto? Adal Adalberto, that's the one. Sorry, my man. And yes, yeah, so that's the team for today's game. Can we please get a win? It's been way too long. Cannot believe it's the 1st of December and we still have not got a win yet. Le uh, Leicester out oh, Leeds. Well, I was I thinking Leeds? I was thinking the Dazman there. Dazman, if you're watching. Hello, my man. Leicester, they are the favourites. Because their form is not much better than ours. But this is a big, big game. Because if you have a look at the league table, they are seven points above us. So if they win, you would expect them to get out of the relegation zone. And so that would give us, what, a ten, a nine, ten point gap between us and safety. So, yeah, not ideal. So this is a big game. We need to win this if we want any hope of staying in the league. And here we are. The teams are now lining up. Sir Michael in goal for Leicester, Chilwell and Amati as their fullbacks, Maguire and Evans as their centre backs, Tillmans and Mendy as their two central midfielders, and they're also going with a 4 2 3 1. Gray, Madison, and Ricardo behind the main man, Jamie Vardy. Let's hope that, unlike on my Leicester series I had going on Twitch, that we're not going to have any Vardy parties, and let's hope. That me knowing the team quite well from that Leicester series is going to help us today. And that we can get that all elusive victory. So let's go passionate. Uh, this, is a great this is a great opportunity to show all the critics they're wrong. Yet most of them are motivated. So we're going to leave it at that. And let's get the game started. First highlight of the game is a James Madison free kick. And oh no. Oh... That's not good. That is not good at all. Two and a half minutes in and we're already behind. It is the player who I think is Leicester's best player, James Madison, with the goal there with a beautiful free kick. Now we really need to get back into this game. Now almost 20 minutes in, Leicester coming forward again and they're trying to get the ball forward but it's just going a bit ping-pongy. Johnny Evans finally gets it, plays it wide. Damari Gray flicks it on, but Cabeseli brings it down for us. And now it's Kiko on the counter. Can he find the main man? Can he find Adalberto? No, he can't. And oh, that's got in behind our defence. Vardy's in and it's 2-0. Oh. I don't quite know how that's happened. Because our defence is supposed to be quite deep. How Vardy's got in behind him, I don't know. 25 minutes in, and we finally get in our first highlight of the game. Alneni goes wide to Sakai. Can he cross the ball in? No, go to Delefeu. And he plays it wide to Sakai. His cross goes in. And... That really a highlight? Really? I don't think they would show that as a highlight on match of the day, if I'm going to be honest. But we're still going. Delefeu tries to play it forward again. Just our team just don't know where each other are. There's just no cohesion between the lads. Now Cabaseli with the ball in our defence, again clears it forward. Delefeu, come on man, you're supposed to be one of our best players. Do something. 
He does. Goes to Adalberto. And, oh, his shot is saved. And now it's Delefeu with the corner ball. Maguire heads it out. And nothing happens there. All right, guys. We're 35 minutes in, and I'm just making a couple of changes. I'm just telling the lads to overlap on the wings and to be a bit more expressive and to run at their defence. And do I go shoot on sight? Yeah, I do. We're pretty much desperate at the minute. So that's what we're going to do. And hopefully, might be able to get us at least a goal before half-time to give us a glimmer of hope. Five minutes to half-time. Delefeu with an outswinging corner. Chilwell heads away. Vardy nods on. And now it's them on the counter again. Please don't be free. Play oh, good tackle there, Jan Matt. Goes to Sakai. Over the top. And Adalberto's in. Adalberto's got a chance here. And he scuffed it. What on earth is he doing? Delafeu with the corner ball. And oh, Kiko's in the box. Will Hughes with the shot is blocked. Kel Kafkar, if he can turn, he does. He finds Delafeu, but he loses the ball there. And now it's Daniel Amati. And now are they going to hit us on the counter? Vardy. Come on, please, no more Vardy. Party! That's a red card. What is Sakai doing? Oh, we got away with that one. We've got away with that one, I think. And now Hughes heads away off the Leicester throw in deep in our own half. Tillman is with a corner. Ricardo, we head out, goes off the bar and we get it away. This is quite terrible. I think I'm going to go two up top after half time. I think I'm going to chuck Andre Gray on alongside Penaranda. And now Kiko with the ball. With the long shot, we're back in it. Kiko Firmino, out of nothing, just takes the ball off the throw in, cuts inside, and powers the ball home for finally his first of the season. Look at that, how he beats the man there. He gives himself a little bit of space. And just as I was thinking, he might be the one I take off to make us go two up top. But now what do we do? I think we leave it as is for the next 10 minutes after half time. And then we see how we get on. And speaking of half time, here it is. Eight shots apiece. Five on target for them to our four. Uh, two clear cut chances we've had. And we've had 53% of the ball. So, we're a little bit unlucky to be behind. If our defence was better, I think we'd be leading this game of football. I think I've said it before, but defence is definitely the one the one area of the team I want to try and invest in in January. And so, let's go passionate. Uh, make up for that in a second, because you're not played as well as you can. There's a lot more to come from you. There's a lot more to come from you. No reaction. Not the best team talk ever, lads. What's that? One person gained confidence to keep her. A defender looks happy. Two defend. Well, one defender looks happy. The other one looks to gain confidence. And Penaranda looks happy. Hmm. Maybe I should have torn into him. Maybe I should have had a go at him, Fergie style. Well, first highlight of the second half, straight off the kickoff. Thankfully, it's a cross and it goes out. Delefeu with a free kick for us. Hits the bar and goes out. Alright guys, here we go. It's those subs that I said I would make. Andre Gray is coming on for uh, Ad Adalberto Penaranda. And Troy Deeney is coming on for Will Hughes. Will Hughes didn't really get anything going in that central attacking midfield role. So this is how we're going to line up. We're going to go with wingers instead. So we've got lots of crosses hopefully. Coming in for Gray and Deeney. And Deeney, I think he's better as an advanced forward. So we're going to go for that. And we're going to see how we get on. And now before those subs can even take effect. We've had a cross that's been blocked. And that's gone out for a corner ball. And now is this when our strikers are going to come on? I think it is. But nothing happens off that corner. Half an hour to go. Madison with a free kick. Cabeseli heads it away. Maguire's in the box, goes back to Evans, to Mendy, to Ricardo, 
He's in the box. He shoots. It's taking a deflection off somebody there, but it's going down as Pereira's goal. And going down might be something I'm saying a lot in this series. Let's have a look at this again. Mendy with the shot. And then Pereira. Yeah, hits our defender. That should really be an own goal. But thankfully it's not. Because I don't think our lads can take much more of a morale beating up. And so now let's just try and go. Just let's try and hit the ball. Old school Brexit style. Long ball over the top. And just see what happens. And we've got an injured player on the pitch. Fan dabby doozy. Let's get our only goal scorer off the pitch. Kiko. Get him off and bring Simo on. And have them both as wingers on attack. And let's just hope we can get back into this game. If if we don't if we don't get a point out of this, I can see the board saying enough is enough. Five minutes left in normal time. Leicester are coming forward again. This time it's Elena with it to Madison, and his long shot goes under Ben Foster. Wow, four-one defeat. What does this do for the league table? Let's skip the replay because I don't really want to see any more goals going in against us. And so league table as it stands, if you would let me see it, that would be nice. Is this going to be a fifth goal for Leicester? Ricardo Pereira's shot goes over the bar. And now, yeah, 10 points, the gap between us and safety. And now another highlight. Leicester have got a corner. It's pinging all over our box. Five. There's no hope, is there? Surely. Let's have another look at this. Madison with the corner. It came in. Uh, Cabasele tried to head it away, but only as far as Ndidi. Barnes's shot was blocked. And then Pereira, his goal, his shot again slips under Ben Foster. And that's the full-time whistle. Thank God for that. Oh my days. By the stats, we didn't play that badly. I think I made an error pushing a defensive line higher. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because up until we done that, I think we was okay on stats. And so at the end, 21 shots to our 16. 13 on target to our 8. We still had more clear-cut chances somehow. And they just about won the possession battle. And let's go into the dressing room. Let's just, let's just go aggressive because that was fucking terrible. And let's go end the team talk. Let's go continue. And are we still in a job? Come on, come on, come on. Please let me still be in a job. Please let me still be in a job. Am I still in a job? I am. Oh, not for long, no. Not for long. I'll deal with all the injuries off camera if we are still in a job. Uh, we'd like to know why a team performed well. I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say what I said again at the start of the start of the video. Uh, we've been really lucky with the amount of injuries. They don't see it as a valid reason. Uh, last thing the club needs is more upheaval. They're gonna give us some more time. They want eleven points. We've got three all season. Nine, that's still a little bit that's still a little bit arse. They've sacked me. They've sacked me. Oh We are pleased this is the end of your time with the club and in all honesty we will be relieved to see the back of you. That's a bit rude. We're pleased to be rid of you and hope we never meet in the future. Rude? Jesus Christ. Well, Gaming steps down. I did not step down. I was sacked. I was sacked, people. 
And well, that's where we're going to be leaving it then, lads. That's where we end the video end the, and end the series. And well, if you've enjoyed that video, and if you want to give me a pity like, please do. The more likes we get on this, the better. So please drop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel down below for more FM content. There's Formula One content coming to the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any particular teams or any particular challenges you would like to see me attempt next on the channel. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. No, not Facebook. That's Abby's channel. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, join the FM Creators Discord. The link to that is going to be down below. And the link to the Gaming Creators Discord as well. So come and join them. Come and get involved in the chat. And yeah, guys. I shall see you next time. Bye.